today we're checking out a pretty rare Pontiac. Um, in fact, I never heard of this car until, uh, until we got it in our dealership. Didn't know Pontiac made uh, 1979 Esprit Redbird. Um, just very cool, very rare. They also made a Bluebird and I think a Yellowbird too. We have a Bluebird in stock that we bought at the same time as we bought this one. Um, with the red bird, you get exactly what you think. Yeah. Red. Yeah, it's very red. You got these uh, gold pinstriping here. Very lot, lots of like gold accents. Uh, they didn't make very many of them. There are no really production numbers on these red birds because Pontiac was just pushing out cars left and right in 70, 78 and 79. They couldn't really keep track, but you don't see too many of them. And to be frank, like Dalton said, I had no idea these existed until we got one in. A really neat car. and. and if you find another Redbird, I don't think it's going to be as nice as this one. I mean, just very well kept, kind of yeah. low original mile car. Um, guy had a Trans Am collection. We bought a, a really nice 79 blue Trans Am with T-tops. That's excellent. And then this beautiful Redbird and uh, Bluebird as well, which you'll see in a week or two when we get it on the site. Right. Factory air conditioning, power steering, power brakes. Look like the AC has been converted over. Um, is that the original motor, Shay, do you recall? Um, I believe it is the original motor. I wasn't able to get a VIN number off of it, but it is a period correct 301 cubic inch V8. Um, I, like I said, I believe it's the original motor, but without that VIN, I can't be sure. It's got gorgeous paint all the way around. Nice hood gap from front to back. And as Shay mentioned, with this Redbird, you get all that really neat gold gold decals that you don't see um, on anything else. Yeah, with this Redbird package, you got a bunch of stuff that you didn't see on any other Firebirds, like these uh, color matched wheels, um, gold decal accents, just a really special options package that you're not gonna see anywhere else. Hood lines up really nice, corner of the door, um, fender. Yeah, and with this, like, we believe this is the original mile car, 57,119 showing on the odometer. And what's incredible about this one is that the interior is almost like, is almost like new. Like even the AM, AM FM radio works, like it's almost showroom quality. Kind of points to like you're saying that original miles. Um, go to the interior and beautiful dash. Yeah, everything works on this, like including the AM FM radio, which still sounds fantastic. I mean, stepping into this thing is just like stepping back into 1979. Like this is a showroom quality interior for sure. When we get in it, we'll go through everything that works and don't. We'll test drive it here in a little bit. Back seat's gorgeous, headliner's nice. You know, even the seat belts and the little retractors and the seat belts still work. Just again, points to that super quality, well-kept car. Uh, door jam paint's nice. If we look at the corners of the doors, they're rust free. This is nice too. That's never been never been redone or messed with. Um, roof rail rubbers are nice and pliable. Door panels clean as well. Corner of the doors rust free. Beautiful car. Does have a little scuff here. It might I'll probably buff out or come out with a fingernail there. Corner of the door tucks and awesome. This is really neat. Beautiful Redbird decal there. Here are the detention on detail on this is I'm excited to, the Bluebird, we're still waiting to get into the dealership. I'm excited to see that too. Mm -hmm. Back package trail on this is, is stunning. Behind the wheel well, no rust issues, no bubbles that I can see anywhere on it. Um, a few tiny little rock chips, but- Little bit stuff, you can see a little bit of an interruption on the decal here. Yep. Spoiler lines up, damn near perfect. Not gonna get one to fit any better. Trunk lines up really nice. Tail lights are clean. And this urethane back bumper is in really great shape too. Most of the time these are all really beat up and, and cracked up. Yeah, they're all cracked. And I don't see any on this one. That glass is clear up over the roof. Gorgeous, don't see any dings, dents. Mm -hmm. Nothing of that nature. Another thing kind of cool about this Redbird is that the, this is the last year they were made. They were only made in 78 and 79. And uh, I believe in even lower production numbers in 79 as, as opposed to 78. Um, so this is the only, only time you're gonna see a Redbird in this body style. Very cool. Corner of the door, again, lines up excellent. <clears throat> the seats are gorgeous too. Um, they got a tiny slight wear right here that maybe points to it being a little older original. What are the miles on this thing? Yeah, 57, 57,000 miles. Yeah. With Judging by how solid it is in the interior, yeah. again, you can never say for sure, but definitely appears uh, like it could be the original miles on this thing. Mm -hmm. 
And like I said, Pontiac really didn't keep track of production numbers for these. But if I had to imagine, not many made. And I bet a lot of them were turned into to Trans Ams yeah, or something like that lots throughout of them the years. Were. Another thing with this is like, um, these uh, yellow birds, the blue birds, which was called the sky bird, and these red birds, they were actually marketed more towards women because these didn't sell very well um, in the woman demographic. But um, there aren't that many survivors out there, and because of that, a lot of them were turned into Trans Am, so holy cow, the, you're not gonna see another one of these. Very nice, let's take it for a spin. Sure thing. Fries right up. How about that? Original AM, FM radio works great. I think it really Very starts cool. with... Lights worked in the dash when I fired it up. Horn <laughs> works. Wipers work. Looks like it's got cruise over here. We'll test that out in a little bit. I'd be damn surprised if that works. But... AC does work. Yeah. Which is great on a day like today. Really idles nice too. She really ru runs and drives awesome. Yeah, it does. Brakes feel good, suspension feels good. Let's go up to the stop sign here. Brakes don't pull left or right. Steering wheel's nice and straight. Turn signal indicators in the dash work. As I mentioned, the radio and everything else works too. It's got tilt, which is really nice. If you're a bigger guy like me, you want to drive a Redbird, you can. <laughs> Rear one, but gets up and goes good. Speedometer yeah. works perfect, doesn't bounce. Really nice, smooth shift there. 60 mile an hour down the road right here. Suspension feels really nice. 65, no hands on the wheel, goes straight down the road. Wow. Sweetheart of a car, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Man, she really floats. Let's test out our cruise control. No way, cruise control works. What? Yeah. No foot on the gas pedal, cruise control works. Got us going here at. 60, 65 mile an hour. That's, wow, I did not that, expect the cruise to work. Not that is phenomenal. That. Yeah, again, points to that 57,000 miles. Holy you know, cow. Pretty hard to deny with this thing, just as clean as it is. But check it out on the site, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, put a link down in the comment section of the video if you're watching on YouTube. But uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.